This is Swiss and Chips, your British guide to Switzerland. Hello, you're listening to Swiss and Chips. I'm Jo. And I'm Simon. And today we're going to be talking about a lovely place in France that we've discovered, which is spectacularly wonderful at Christmas, called Colmar. Yes, Vive la France. Vive la France. But before we get to that, we asked you to reach out and tell us what you think about the show. And we've had some feedback and we're going to dive straight into that before we come to our Colmar topic. Correct. And if you out there want to send us more feedback or you have a question or anything, you can send us your feedback at swissandchips.com slash inbox. Also, just say hi. And if you love the show, you know, we'd love to hear that. Obviously. <laughs> yes, you can reach us on anywhere, email, Twitter, whatever, or directly on the phone as well. And you can send us a voice message. And the number is 0041768308. Zero seven two nine six, But all the information is on swissandchips.com slash inbox. Yes, it is. There you go. And we had some listener feedback. Yes. So um, we had a message from Alison. And this is all because we were trying to translate uh, the Swiss word knushti, wasn't it? Yes, it was the knushti. And to be, before we start with Alison or what uh, what you're coming to, she also said, you know, that she really appreciates the show and she said that she loves these um, episodes where we talk a bit about hidden gems and that's why also is one reason why we choose Colmar today as a little excursion plan for your future but so we were talking about the Swiss word knushti which turns out is pretty almost impossible to translate um, and one of the words that we were talking about that might be a possible translation of the word Kanushti. Alison reached out and said, you know, this is actually a really derogatory term that I wouldn't use anymore. Um, and it stems from a kind of quite old tradition of how people used to describe left-handers. I actually had no idea about this, so I'm really glad that you got in touch with us, Alison. Thanks for that. Yes, obviously I also didn't know. And I'm also very glad. And I think we should say the word, we had this discussion before, if we should say it again, because it's very offensive, but at least then people know what we talk about and then they can avoid it in the future. But we promise not to use it again after this one time. You say it then. Um, we said that cack-handed was maybe a word for the kunushti. Yes, there you go. Last time we said it, please don't use it in the future. We certainly will try to avoid it. Thanks, Alison, for your feedback. And then was something more joyful. Yes, we wanted to say a big hello to Ian, who left us a super nice review. Um, and he said it was very helpful for people who are new to Switzerland and thanked us for the podcast. So thank yes. you, Ian. It was so nice to hear from you. Yeah, he left a review on in iTunes and we saw that and we were extremely happy. Mm -hmm. I also want to say a special hello to Eric, who's a person I met in real life, who is a Ooh. fan of the show. Fantastic. Hi, Eric. Also, a few episodes ago, we asked you to vote on our website about how we should connect. Mm -hmm. And we gave a few choices like a WhatsApp group, uh, on Telegram, just email or in the comments on our website. And there were a few answers, but they were very spread over mm. everything. So we don't, we still don't no really know. No definitive answer. Yes. Mm. Um, we still have our Facebook group, which is called Swiss Switzerland. Switzerland for English speakers. In yes, there you go. Yeah. Um, it's a nice place great place if you have questions and want to exchange but we feel like we don't want to bother people there with our podcast too much and we we lose a little bit the connection to the listeners so maybe next year we'll try to find a new place let's see as well yeah mm -hmm. stay tuned exactly but now let's move on to Colmar yes so Last year, um, we couldn't travel back to the UK because of, you know, that whole pandemic thing, basically, and complications and so on. So I came up with the very great idea of staying quite close to home, but still getting the Christmassy feeling. And I said, let's go to the Christmas market in Strasbourg. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the home of Christmas yeah. and so on, apart from the North Pole, etc. It's a popular thing to do from Switzerland to go to Germany or France for a Christmas market. Yeah, exactly. So we went to Strasbourg and it was awesome, but it was also, let's be honest, bloody freezing. It was very cold. <laughs> it was yeah. really cold. It was huge. It was super nice, but um, it was a very, very big Christmas market. Oh, markets rather. Awesome. But then on the way home, we said, hey, let's pop into Colmar. 
we popped into Colmar and I'm sure lots of people have already heard of it and how nice it is. Yeah. Um, and maybe have even been there like you had. Yeah, it's also fantastic in summer. It mm-hmm. has a nice little river and stuff, but yeah. please go on. So we popped in and we were instantly charmed by this place. Yeah, the basically. Christmas market was spectacular. So nice. There are six different Christmas markets. They're quite small, but you know, they're not tiny. Mm. There's, there's enough for you to, the to well houses. fill a day. The, the city itself is really nice anyway. It's got medieval and kind of Renaissance period buildings, half timber buildings, uh, canals that run through the city centre. Mm. It's really beautiful and they decorate everything for Christmas. It's yes, so fantastic, nice. Fantastic, really. Yeah. Mm. So we decided this year, let's just go to Colmar for the day. Yes, and it took us only like two hours-ish from Bern by car. Mm-hmm. You can also also go by train, it's no problem. And uh, yeah, it's very, very close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you set off earlier in the morning, I think the drive would be shorter than two hours. Yes. I looked at different times of the day. Mm. It has to be <laughs> said, when it's also, you will not be the only one who has this idea to go there. No, no. It was mega crowded, has to be said. Yeah, the markets are quite busy, but once you turn off the main street, there's almost no one there. Yeah, it was almost no one there. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true, yeah. But some and parts the, are very crowded, yes. True. Yeah. So in general, I would say, check out the Christmas markets close to Switzerland. There are many others as well. And um, tour Tour travel agencies, they organize, as, organize also buses to go there. So you can also go by bus in the morning and come back in the evening. So you can get drunk there and <laughs> have a mulled <laughs> wine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there mm. are a few other different um, kind of Christmas market locations around Colmar as well. So if you've got a bit more time on your hands, you could also pop to another one, I reckon. Yeah, perfect. If you want to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's normally on from the end of November until the end of December. This so year it finishes on the 29th. If you listen to this podcast straight away, you can pack still your get bag there. and get there. <laughs> Don't waste any time. It's a super nice place to go. But like we said, also in summer. Yep. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Last week, we asked you to send us English words that I should explain what it is. And (laughs) I promised if there is a voice message coming, Mm -hmm. I would send you a postcard. Yes. And there was none. Oh, no. Uh, I said I will send a postcard to myself like Mr. Bean. I haven't (laughs) done that yet, but I will. Good. But if you have one, we we got a few hints that some have some. Mm -hmm. Um, Send them as a voice message. You heard before on swissandchips.com slash inbox and then we'll play it in the show and try to figure it out. Mm-hmm. But until then, I've got a Swiss word for you to learn. Mm, so so until basically until the voice message comes, I get tortured every two weeks by trying to figure out what the Swiss word means. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Every okay. three weeks. So save Joe. Every three weeks. And the <laughs> voice message is. Message is. Yes. Because when there is none... It has to be the Swiss word, doesn't okay, it? It does, yeah. Bitterweich. Right. Um, so I think a literal translation will be pear soft. I, you know what? This is a general thing that happens all the time. I wanted to say, shall I repeat it again slowly? <laughs> but I don't know why I do this. And mm. it's... If it you, doesn't help. It doesn't so, help. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does, yes. But if the word is completely unknown and I heard it right the first time, which I did, yeah, but I, I still don't yeah. know. True, but I have this sometimes in, in England or in if I talk to someone like you in English. Yeah, someone like me. and um, Which is exactly you. Yeah. And you say to me a word that sounds like, how is you <laughs> And then I look at you like, huh? Mm. And then you may, how is you And I look at you still (laughs) like her. And then all you do is just increase the volume. I don't do that. (laughs) Yes, you do. No, I don't. Anyway, so that's what I was about to do. Birave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what that would be. Birave. Extremely stupid. And you translated it completely correctly. It's pear soft. Thank you very much. Pear soft. Bira, pear, weich, soft. So birave means really stupid. Yes. As in... 
du bist bitte weg. That, du or whatever. Whatever you find stupid, you can say, that's bitte weg, you are bitte weg, this situation is bitte weg. You are this stupid like a soft pair. This podcast is and this discussion <laughs> is absolutely bitte weg, hoch ten. <laughs> uh, hoch, high ten. No. Oh no. Uh, oh, where are we going? What does hoch ten? Oh, uh, like... Um, ten times. In, yeah, yeah. Right. Not yeah, yeah. You you don't know and I don't know. That's why everything is bitter weg. Got it. That's why we should stop it here. Okay, so thanks so, for listening. Thanks for listening and don't forget to send us your feedback. And have a very Merry Christmas. And, and a Happy, happy New Year. Holidays. And Happy Holidays and Season's Greetings. Bye. Bye. Bye.